Do you own the Nikon 35mm 1.4 G lens? You have the Z6, you have the Z7, you have an FTZ adapter, and you're wondering if you should buy the Nikon 35mm Z 1.8 S lens. Well, in this video, I'm going to put them head to head. I have a photo shoot lined up a little later in this video. I'm going to take these two lenses out. We're going to take some shots. We're going to compare them. We're also going to be doing some video clips with both these lenses. The Nikon 35mm 1.4G and the Nikon Z 35mm 1.8S lens. So stick around. We're going to have some fun. What's good, guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen your rock and roll photographer. So you have a Z-mount camera and you're wondering if you should get the Nikon 35mm 1.8S lens. Mind you, you already have a Nikon 35mm G lens like the one I have right here, the 35 1.4G or you might have the 35 1.8G. But I have the 1.4 and I'm gonna put these two lenses head to head in this video. So my main goal in this video today is for those of you who are on the fence, you have the FTZ adapter and you just don't know if you want to invest $800 and buy the Nikon Z 35 millimeter lens. Is it worth it? You already invested money on the F mount glass. You have the 1.4 or 1.8 G lenses already and the FTZ adapter. Should you buy the Z lens? Well, I'm going to do some photos today, a photo shoot. We're going to compare images, and I'm also going to do some video clips for you guys and let you guys decide. Is it worth it? Well, we're just going to have to see if it's worth it or not. But before I get into the heart of the video, a little fun fact about these lenses. The Nikon 35mm 1.4G came out September of 2010. The Nikon Z 35mm came out in 2018, launched with the Z6 and Z7 original mirrorless cameras that Nikon offers. This is a 1.8 lens, this is a 1.4 lens. There is a 1.8G lens as well, I don't have that lens, I primarily use the 1.4G. I've owned this lens for about 7 years now and I'm quite happy with it. It weighs a little bit more than the Z lens. Uh, quite a bit more the weight of each lens of course again this is a 1.4 lens that's probably why and uh, the construction of this lens feels very solid very good um, this one it's a light uh, the, the body feels good as well but this one feels a little more solid to me each lens has switches on the side auto and manual switches the Nikon 1.4 G lens, F mount lens, has a 67 millimeter filter thread. The Z lens has a 62 millimeter filter thread. Again, just to clarify, this is an F mount lens for all your DSLRs, Nikon DSLRs. This is a Z lens, a Z mount lens for all the Z6 mirrorless, Z7, Z62, Z72, you name it. So I'm sure a lot of Nikon shooters know when you get a Z6, if you own a Z6, it's good to get an FTZ adapter. If you were shooting Nikon in the past and you have a lot of F-mount glass, then you probably have an FTZ adapter. If you don't, they cost about $200 US. And this, this lens right here, it's a G lens and it will work with your FTZ adapter. It will autofocus, it will do video. Uh, quite nicely actually. So this lens, the G lens, will work with the FTZ adapter. Now of course uh, native Z glass, you don't need an, an adapter, it, it just mounts in natively. That's the beauty of this lens. The G mount lens will work with the FTZ adapter. It will mount, it will autofocus, even on video it will autofocus, but I'm pretty sure that the autofocus performance will be better with this when you're doing video with the Z6 camera. Cost these two lenses right now as of 2021. I just checked and the G lens, the 1.4, the 35 millimeter 1.4 G lens cost about $1,700 brand new. 
Uh, and the Z lens, the 35 millimeter 1.8 S lens, cost about $850, brand new. Now you can buy a refurbished or used G lens for probably about $1,100 right now. Uh, refurbished, I saw them for about $1,200 but I see them all day long used Craigslist offer up. If there is one for sale, you probably see it for about a thousand dollars. The Z mount lens, these are new. You don't see quite a bit of these online, but if you do, you'd probably see them for about 650 to $700 used. Now I did do a full review of the 35 millimeter 1.8 Z mount S lens. Click the link above this video and you see the full review of this lens. If you guys know me, you guys know I talk highly about the 1.4G lens. The characteristics of this lens is quite amazing. I love the background blur, how it isolates subjects at 1.4, the colors of this lens. I really like this lens and I approve of this lens, but I was just curious. I have a photo shoot lined up a little later and I'm gonna bust out these two lenses um, and I'm gonna shoot with them and we're gonna compare the colors the background blur I'll try to shoot both at 1.8 when I can but you know, it's hard I'm tempted to shoot at 1.4 all the time with this lens because the magic just the magic is 1.4 You know you pay this much money. It's not cheap, you know, so you expect to shoot close to 1.4 wide open Why wouldn't you? Paid the big bucks for the 1.4 and I'm tempted to shoot at 1.4 all the time. That being said, I will take pictures at 1.8 both lenses and I will also try to shoot the same picture wide open at 1.4 so you guys could see the difference of a 1.4 lens and the sharpness difference, the colors. You know, obviously I've shot with the Z lens quite a bit now and I know that this lens is very sharp. Uh, everywhere corner to corner center you'd be very happy with the performance of this lens now Nikon is probably in development of a faster 35 millimeter lens for the Z mount obviously I guess Nikon is going the Z mirrorless route for the future it sort of looks that way can't tell you for sure but it looks that way so they're developing all kinds of new lenses for the mirrorless system so they're probably working on a 35 millimeter faster than this lens, uh, but this is the only option you have right now for a 35 fixed 35 millimeter lens. That being said, the 1.4 G Nikon lens is the latest model. Yes, it came out in, in 2010, but it's still the latest, fastest 35 millimeter that Nikon offers. All right, guys, why don't we start the fun? Before we go out and do that photo shoot I was talking about, let's do a video test. I will mount both lenses on two cameras. We'll try to do a split screen for you guys as well. Do some video clips and see the difference while you're doing 4K video. All right, how does it look? How does it look? 35 millimeter video test. Recording this video clip on 4K, same exact settings. I have the white balance, same exact settings at 5500 Kelvin. Recording both video clips simultaneously. The cameras are right next to each other. All the settings are the same. The 3514 is set at 1.8, just so we can compare both at 1.8. And in a second, I'm gonna switch it to 1.4, see if we see any type of difference. When we're doing video, like I said, uh, it depends on how far I am from you guys, the background, how far the background is from me. So it all depends on how much isolation we get. However, I'm curious to see the color differences. So on the LCD, I was seeing a little bit of a difference on both lenses. Let me go ahead and stick my hand out. See if you see any bit a of a difference when it comes to background blur. Okay, both lenses wide open now. Both lenses wide open and I didn't adjust anything so the 1.4 will be a little bit brighter and probably a little overexposed, I'm predicting. But um, let's see what we see.
Let's see if the which one tracks focus better. Let me see if I can get a little closer to you guys so it's a little more interesting, the test. I'm hand holding this. This is the 35 millimeter Z 1.8 S lens. Let's go a little closer, a little closer. Trying to hold it as steady as possible. 35 millimeter Z F 1.8 S lens. Let's try the G lens, the 1.4 G lens now. Yeah, this lens is a lot beefier, guys. This lens is a lot heavier with the FTZ and just the lens. Without the FTZ, just the lens is heavier. And um, but how does it look? How's it looking? The 35 millimeter 1.4 G F mount Nikon Nikkor lens. All right, well that was fun. Why don't we go out and take some pictures right now with both lenses? Again, the Nikon 35 millimeter 1.4 G F mount lens and the Nikon Z 35 millimeter 1.8 S lens. Let's go, let's take some pictures and let's rock and roll. All right guys, well, we have Esther here. Hi Esther. Hi. So I have two lenses with me, like I said, the 35 1.4. G and the 3518Z lens and we're gonna take some pictures of Esther and we're gonna compare both lenses for you guys. Let's do this. Rock and roll. This is a rock and roll photography channel so what I want to do is I want to see how much rock and roll you know. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. See what you know about music, about rock and roll. I you think know you know a lot but okay. Yeah. yeah give me one second let me put these down. First question who's a better drummer? A. Lars Ulrich B, Neil Peart, C, Mike Portnoy, or D, Bonzo? Bonzo. Oh, that, well that's a, any one of those. I mean, if you were to pick Lars, you know, I'd have some problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys, I love Metallica. Led Zeppelin, right? Led Zeppelin, gotta love Led Zeppelin. And Neil Peart, obviously I would've picked Neil Peart Rush. But, you know. Second question, name the band. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. I'll give you a hint. Guns and... Roses. Yeah, all right, all right. You're getting good, you're getting you good. Guns and Roses. You're getting, of course I do. I listen to Guns and Roses. All right. Guitarist Eddie Van Halen just passed away. One of the best guitarists in the world from the band Van Halen. The drummer, his brother. What's the drummer's first name? Alex. Wow, give me five. You know Van Halen, huh? Yes. Oh, rock and roll. Esther, she passes the test. That means we're going to take some pictures of her. You ready? Let's do this. Rock and roll. You know what? This is probably our fourth photo shoot, right? Yeah. The first one we did, you were very small. I was like 10. 10. We did that. And then I did a photo shoot with you by the drum set. I have those pictures. So the first photo shoot, you were 10 years old. You needed some portfolio shots. You were 10? It's been that long? Jeez. And then the second photo shoot, we did a photo shoot by the drum set. And then the third one we did for the flash mount. The, I have a video on Vahography if you want to check that out with Esther in it. We did that. I was showing you guys the um, Godox flash unit with high speed sync. If you want to check the link above, go ahead and do so. We did it. That was our third photo shoot together. And today we're going to do the fourth one. All right, guys. Well, Got the Z6 right here with the 3518. Let's rock and roll. Those are some cool kicks, Esther. Saw something really interesting with the background here. Looks really cool. I'll show you guys right now. Let's do look at me. Good. That's perfect. Put your hands like this. Put your hands in the air. Yeah, like that, and you look that way. Good. Switch the lens so you see the difference with the one. For G. 
Eyes down, eyes down, chin down just a little bit. That's it. Hold it. I want to thank Esther for being so patient with me. And we didn't have that much time, like I said, to shoot that. You know, we only have like an hour and a half. When we got there, it was one hour to sunset. Uh, yeah, it's quite an amazing time to shoot right before sunset when you're doing a photo shoot. However, when we get there an hour and 10 minutes to sunset, and I haven't even set up one piece of equipment yet, it was uh, pretty crazy, guys. I had to rush it. You know, I, I'm glad I got the shots I got in time, but not only was I doing a photo shoot, I had to do some video like you saw and, you know, get the mics ready and everything like that. So it was crazy, guys. Okay, well, what did you guys think? Are you guys going to be getting the 35Z? Do you already own one? Do you have the 35 1.4G lens? Are you getting the same results I'm getting? Will I be getting rid of the 1.4G? I don't think so, not right now. This is the fastest 35 millimeter that Nikon makes right now. So I really like the way the G isolates the subject at 1.4. So, and I really like the look, the characteristic of this lens. So yeah, sure, granted the Z is a lot sharper than the G lens. Like I said, and I always say, sharpness is not the end all be all to everything. I really like the way this the images render on this lens. I'd rather have faster glass right now using the FTZ adapter. It's, it's no problem. I have a couple of those things. So uh, if I have to bring it along and use the 35 mil at wide open at 1.4, I'll bring the FTZ adapter. That's not a problem. You know, it's nice to have a native lens if you're shooting mirrorless Z cameras. You don't have to you know mess with the FTZ adapter sometimes when you mount it to the camera. It gets a little longer sometimes and it you know it feels more compact with this guy on the lens you know what one second let me grab the camera with the ftz adapter and just show you what they look like with them mounted on give me one second all right all right guys here is the lenses here is the nikon z6 and the ftz adapter the mounting the adapter to the 35 millimeter so yeah, you get something that looks like this. So if, you know, I don't mind it, it feels really nice. Like I said, it, it, I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it at all. This part right here, where you mount the tripod, you know, I, I usually put my hand right under here for extra grip. It just feels right. You know, the combination of the two just feel great together. So like I said, the Nikon Nikkor 35 millimeter 1.4 G lens. That's the way it looks with the camera, the FTZ adapter, and the lens. All right, well, this is natively the 35mm 1.8S lens. So they're both fun to shoot. They're both um, great glass, like you saw. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to add. They both come with hoods, obviously, and the hoods are not attached right now. So this is the hood that the 35Z comes with. It is an HB89 hood so this is what it looks like with the hood attached the 35g comes with an hb 59 hood and this is what it looks like with the hood on the camera so we got the hood the lens the ftz adapter and the camera body 35 and turn into a longer lens but what are you gonna do guys it's not bad like i said it doesn't bother me when i'm shooting you know sure i'd like it to be a little more compact all right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this video, my comparison versus video, the 35 millimeter 1.8Z lens versus the Nikon 35 millimeter 1.4G lens. If you like videos like this, guys, and you want more, please like and subscribe to Vahography. Hit the bell icon to be notified when 
I upload new videos. Again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. And we'll see you on the next video. And remember, this is a must, guys. This is a must. Rock and roll. Hey, guys. This is... <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, guys. This is Vahography. I'm Esther, your rock and roll photographer. Rock and roll.